G'day team, this is Healthman Mark, accredited dietitian and online coach, cooking up some healthy recipes for you today. I'm trying to show you that healthy food can be quick and easy, full of nutrition and still tasty. All right, I love getting in the kitchen, I love getting involved and food prepping, getting amongst it. I feel like that adds a bit of passion and it makes it a personal experience, the food, and makes me want to make healthy choices. So, we're going to go with some chicken mince today, but I'm going to mix it up with vegetables and actually do chicken mince patties for you. Easy to prep up for a few meals to keep you going through the week. Chicken mince patties, they're going to be served with a beautiful broccoli salad. Don't get distracted by the word broccoli and think, oh, here we go, we're dieting and all we can eat is chicken and broccoli. Let me show you how it can be creative and fun and full of taste. All right, starting up, we're gonna chop up some onion, capsicum, mushroom, zucchini, really small. All right, these could actually be grated up because you want them small to mix with the chicken mince. All right, you can actually, having said that, choose your favorite vegetables. You could be adding carrot in here, all right? It could be baby spinach, it's your choice. Never feel like you've got to hold back on your vegetable variety or even intake. All right, the more colors, the better. The more vegetables in general throughout the day, the better. It's going to keep you fuller for longer. And it's also going to give you heaps more vitamins and minerals to prevent colds and flus and make your meals more tasty. Starting off over here with some onion. All right, chop it as small as you can. Of course, you could be grating it. Just mixing up red capsicum, really high in vitamin C. Great for your immune system. Great to help absorb iron from your green vegetables. All right, nothing chefy, team. Keep it easy, do whatever you can manage over here. Some mushrooms, high in zinc and some zucchini. All right, chop it up as small as you can because we are, of course, mixing it into the chicken mince for patties. It's all chopped up really small. Lastly, we're gonna use some spring onion. That's ready to go. Let's take a look at that. Got a nice vegetable mix, onion, red capsicum, mushroom, spring onion, zucchini. My pan's nice and hot. What I'm doing over here is just spray some olive oil across it. Of course, I prefer the plant-based fats like olive oil rather than animal-based saturated fats like butter. Let's stay away from that. Just use a little bit of olive oil. Or of course, you're using a non-stick pan anyway. You may not even need any oils. All right. Got chicken mince. Beautiful, lean chicken mince. Nothing wrong with that. We're gonna actually put that straight in Nice bowl. Get to get your hands dirty now. This is a real fun part. Let's mix in this vegetable mix with the chicken mince. In it goes. All right. Now we get dirty in here with our hands. Almost ready to now mold them into patties. Whichever size you want. Could be little rissoles or could be patties. This should be nice and hot. Ready to put this on? All right, there we go. Pat it down. Look, it doesn't have to be a perfect round. It can be any shape. Make square patties for change if you like. Okay, they can be a little sticky as you can see and getting messy. My vegetables are still fairly big inside it, a little bit chunky. They could be grated up and be really tiny and small and neater. Okay, I actually like the crunch of the vegetable in the patty though. There we go. Patty number two. I've used 500 grams of mince here in total. So we'll get a few serves out of this. There we go, I've got five patties out of that. That's gonna cook away. It's probably gonna cook for, for about five to seven minutes on high heat here. We're gonna flip it halfway. It's not gonna to take too long. We do have one secret ingredient, which is of course thyme. Fresh herb thyme. I'd like to add a few fresh herbs if you've got. Folks, what are we gonna serve these mince patties with? All right. The secret now is to serve it with a good salad. Salads could just be mixed lettuce leaves, could be your bought kale slaw mixes, which are beautiful as they are, or we could get a little creative and do my Healthman Mark broccoli salad, okay? 
In the broccoli salad, we actually add a bit of bacon, which is always yummy. We add some sunflower seeds, some pumpkin seeds, and raisins, and in a nice little vinegar, maple syrup mixture as a sauce, a little bit of low-fat mayo, that's coming up, all right? In this mixture of broccoli now, we're gonna add some simple sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds, okay? Just about a handful of sunflower pumpkin seeds right into the broccoli. And with this, as I said, we need a bit of bacon. So this is getting nice and messy. It's good to get messy if you're in the kitchen. You know, you've seen this thing's going on. It's all happening. We're cooking. It's not meant to be too clean. We'll worry about the cleaning afterwards. Think about these not sticking. I'm actually going to flip them now. We're about halfway. How's this broccoli salad going? We need some bacon. Rindless bacon or shortcut bacon. All right. There's actually very minimal fat on here. So even as a dietitian, I'm happy to advocate for a bit of bacon here. I'll throw that into my broccoli mix. It's starting to smell good, by the way. As soon as we had bacon, it smells good. The neighbors come knocking on the door. They want to be a part of it. You add some bacon to your meal. Push these down a little bit just to make sure that the chicken cooks through. Of course, folks, we could be using beef mince over here. Doesn't need to be chicken mince, could be turkey mince. Could even be kangaroo patties, couldn't it? Wouldn't see me using mayonnaise too much, but this is a good 99% fat-free mayonnaise. Easy. I'm gonna add a little bit of that to the broccoli salad. Here we go. A bit of mayonnaise, just sprinkle it on. There's no need to get too carried away with portioning over here either, guys. Like you've seen with the vegetables. I've thrown a lot of veg in. I'm getting dirty over here with the hands. We're mixing it in. The mayonnaise through it. Always choose the low fat in the dairy options. A little bit of vinegar actually goes really well with the salad. Got some white vinegar. Just sprinkle that over. Now, in the original format of this, I used to use brown sugar. But we can avoid the sugar. I just don't feel good. Even if it's brown sugar, I don't feel right about adding pure sugar to the meals. So now there's a sugar-free maple syrup. This has been quite a savior, made by Queens. Sugar-free maple syrup. We're gonna add a bit of that over the broccoli. It's zero calorie. So that salad's actually now ready to go. Once we chop up the bacon and we mix it in, who is not gonna enjoy that? Yeah, that's beautiful. The broccoli could be chopped smaller, okay? I mean, everyone's got their preferences. This bacon looks to be done. Straight on this board. A Little bit of fat around the outside, we'll take that off. Get rid of that. Bacon into the salad. How are we looking, team? This is ready to go. This is gonna complement the chicken mince patties perfectly, which are now ready to go. Take the rest of the bacon off. You can always deal with that later. These patties, that sizzling smell of the thyme is coming through, the fresh herbs. Smell the capsicum. It's lean, you can see there's no fat coming off here. And folks, we're ready to go. Beautiful chicken mince patties mixed with your favorite vegetables. All right, maybe muscly male, like Healthman Mark. You might go with a big patty and one small patty. All right, how's that? Maybe about 200 grams serving right there. You got another three patties ready to go for the week. Put them in a container, put them in the fridge. You could even you could even freeze them for when you need it. This is a good dinner, folks. We haven't added any carbohydrate per se to this meal. That's a really lean dinner. If we wanted to turn it into a lunch, and actually say, don't be afraid to add some carbohydrate, a little bit of rice, maybe potato. But for dinner, we're just gonna keep it lean, and that's why we've got this beautiful salad to be served with it. All right. The broccoli, bacon, tomato. Make sure you get some sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds, put it over there. You got the beautiful flavors coming out. Wow. Come on. That's easy, it's simple. It's taken me exactly 12 minutes to make this whole meal and I actually have a few meals now ready to go for the week out of this. All right, so there's no excuses. Healthy meals are quick, tasty, easy. 
get amongst it, get creative, you can't go wrong. I'm going to taste it. All right, chicken mince patty, broccoli. Mmm.